Mumbalming technique, the my techniques are one is a human body, bird, a snake. We have seen Mother Teresa. We know Abdul Kalam, or the great Dr. Rajkumar, or even the late Shiv Shukumar Swamiji. And this is a first of its kind technique in the world. Mumbalming, it's a new innovative technique which I had introduced. And this is a first of its kind technique in the world where the preservation of the dead is made easier. We have seen, as the history goes, hundreds and thousands of years back, people do have attempted this particular uh, preser uh, attempted a lot of uh, research in this preservation of the dead. The best and the most famous thing what we see is the Egyptian mummies, where people have seen that how the bodies have been preserved for thousands of years, the technique which they have adopted and the chemicals they have put, it's definitely, it's more or less, it's unknown and that def definitely the technique is much uh, refiner and it's most uh, impressive. Similarly, other countries do have uh, invented their own technique right from Russia, even the, we have a, a St. Xavier's uh, a dead body in the Goa. So all these places we have seen that the preservation techniques is differing from country to country, region to region and religion too. So I have introduced this particular technique called Mumbalming. This is a very innovative technique. It's very unlike other techniques, it's totally different. We have uh, two stages in this technique and in this particular technique I have, uh, we inject the chemicals also and before injecting chemical we process the body. So that's what is the whole of this particular technique is concerned and in this particular uh, uh, thing I would like to demonstrate first how the dead bodies have been preserved, uh, both how, the, how we use the refrigeration, how we use the embalming and then I would like to demonstrate the uh, specimens. Uh, one is a human body, another is a, a snake and another one is a bird on which the chemicals, the my technique has been applied and how successful I am based on application of my technique. So we have seen that I have as I explained earlier the different types of preservation of the dead. So as you know this is a universal one uh, where all the countries and all the regions we do preserve the dead in a cold storage. So this is such one of such a cold storage cabinet where we have the four cabinets we preserve the dead in this. So here the temperature is maintained uh, until uh, around four, 4 degrees centigrade. And this particular uh, refrigeration is used to examine the body, maybe uh, pending post-mortem examination or pending any investigations or maybe an hospital autopsy or maybe a medical legal autopsy or maybe it has been rewaiting for the relatives for them to collect the body. So until that this particular uh, cabinet or the refrigeration we can keep the body for uh, days and even weeks. So one such body I would like to demonstrate uh, uh, the body so we can see that these are the cabinets where we have the closed doors, airtight doors and we have kept the body here and this is one body which has been kept for nearly around some 10 days they are waiting for the family members to collect. So this is one such process which I would like to demonstrate. Beside the uh, refrigeration, this is the second method of preservation of the dead. As it has been widely known across in all the medical centers and even the, many of the universities. So we preserve the dead bodies. In, these are all the uh, formalin tanks, also called as embalming tanks, uh, where uh, in formalin tanks we have filled up a lot of uh, formalin and it is usually the formal saline. We usually put it and then try, try to keep the dead bodies here. And this is for a long term preservation and this preservation will help the students or uh, the research purposes where the structures of the, uh, the anatomical structures of the body is required to be studied. And this can be kept for years but only thing is the structure will there will be a change in color, the change in the texture and uh, this is only meant for the study purpose and but definitely the people cannot go in very close to it because of the toxic nature of the formalin which has been used for the preservation. <laughs> As we have seen, I have clearly demonstrated that how the bodies have been preserved. The, I see in the bodies which have been preserved in the cold storage and we have seen also the bodies which are put in the formal in tank. Unlike all those different methods, we see this is the one which I would like to show. See, this particular technique which I had applied on this particular man two years back. So two years back, after two years, we still we can see the person firmly sitting on the chair and we, have, we are dressing him, we can dress him, we can groom him. So this is what is the advantage and this is non-infective, no smell, no toxicity. 
this can be kept in any places it can be transported this is the biggest advantages of this particular techniques i can assure that this person can be preserved in this form for hundreds of years and the more importantly this particular technique it will satisfy our near and dear ones or the personalities whom we like to subject to this particular technique instead of limiting them to the photo frames or burying them or cremating them if this technique has been applied we will be satisfied that this particular person will be live will be living along with us so that we can tell to our generation that this person still lives with us though the life may not be existing but the structure does exist this is the major difference between my technique and this is the reason where i would like to present this technique to the world so uh, see now you have seen the body we can groom the body as i told earlier we can groom the body we can apply see here we are applying the oil uh, we are applying the oil and uh, trying to groom the body we can even clean wash it so all these things can be done sakashti you know what's the happy production so this is how we try to groom even after 2 years we are just grooming the body and it can the body can be kept in any place as you like so uh, see so uh, as we have uh, explained to you that the application of umbalmic technique is not only limited to the human beings this can also be done in animals so this is one such and before uh, explaining this i would like to categorically state that all these animals which we have experimented are the dead ones which were lying on the street and then this uh, technique was applied and no animal was killed in this particular procedure so in this particular thing see one pigeon which was dead in a hospital the thing was bought and it was been embalmed see we can see it's a naturally we have kept it and this is one applied on the bird so this particular technique is not only limited to the human beings it has also we can be applied to the animals and uh, this is one which has been applied on the snake and this was uh, lying on the street we been somebody has killed us and that so we retrieved that uh, killed animal and we applied this particular technique and this is how it has been preserved and this is nearly around some 3 and 1/2 years uh, what we saw in the bird that was the freshly one which has been applied uh, this technique was applied my friend dr dinesh rao professor and hod of uh, forensic uh, medicine department has found out a new technique mumbal ming this technique is to preserve the dead bodies for any length of time it is the first of its kind in the world and uh, it is a great achievement and it is uh, the research product of is 13 years uh, uh, research and uh, it's a great achievement i but i can say so that you can preserve the bodies uh this uh, mumbalming technique uh, as i have uh, told rightly said uh, that this particular technique which is uh, been clearly demonstrated the which i had applied on both on the human beings and also in animals and including the birds so this i had applied i have clearly demonstrated the one which was applied on the human being was 2 years old and the one was on the snake uh, it was 3 and 1/2 years and the one on the bird it was hardly a week old so this technique i have stored and i also demonstrated at how the traditional method of preservation that is embalming and the cold storage you have clearly seen the difference between my technique and those technique so this is what i would like to present my innovative technique called mumbai see as i have told earlier this particular technique is first of its kind in the world there are different methods of preservations which uh, even i also aware of it but this technique is totally different because the first stage in this techniques apart from injecting the chemicals we are uh, putting down the first process we subject the body to the processing then we inject the chemicals this is how it is different and that way it has been preserved it's totally and the chemical type of chemicals it is different from those techniques and this particular technique i am very sure and confident that the body can be preserved in this form for hundreds of years this particular technique once it is applied on the body it cannot be used for any other purpose apart from keeping the dead one except the but for the life everything we can do it on the body but we can carry it we can keep it so that's the only advantage but it can be it cannot be used for the internal study purpose external study purpose may be used but definitely this is not made for a study purpose the most important the idea which i got was i used to see the great personalities the loud and near near and dear ones what personally i felt is burning the body 
and burying the body it's more traumatic that's what i felt because we are we are we are talking with him we are sleeping with the person and one day the person is dead for some reason and later we see the very next day or within few days we see the same person being burnt and the same person being put in the ground in a graveyard that appears was very traumatic to me what i felt was and later i see the people keeping the same man's photograph in their house so instead why can't we keep the person inside so this particular technique will help me in this uh, procedure see this, this is a similar pattern see once we have as i said earlier that we would like to keep the human body instead of burning and putting in the graveyard so we can keep them and we can show to our parents so he was my grandfather he was my father he was my son or he was the great for example just imagine we have seen mother teresa we, i have not seen i have seen her photograph we we know abdul kalam i haven't met but we have seen the photograph or the great dr rajkumar we haven't seen but we have seen him in the photographs at this technique are even the late Shiv, shukumar swami ji had we applied this technique on these personalities the generations would have seen their actual body instead of seeing the photograph so this is what it makes a difference and for example the near and we have a pet work pet which we love a lot because it is one of our family member and one day you find it dies but we has lot of memories and that memories can be made alive by keeping this applying this techniques and keeping those animals are the great personalities are the near and dear loved ones along with us this particular once the technique has been applied there is no need of uh, regularly applying any chemicals it is absolutely not required if it is kept in a glass box if it is taken out and kept in a open atmosphere then a mere a small uh, uh, oily substance which we have that we apply so that there will not be any other uh, dust particles settling on that definitely see if any common person if they want to keep the bodies this is the same technique can be applied and one thing as is legally it is the right of the family member either to cremate to bury or keep it in this form so they have every rights on the near and dear ones so yes i think there should not be, there should not be any legal hurdles in pertaining to it because it's always the kith and kin right how to go ahead with the dead ones so instead of putting in the uh, giving the uh, consent to the graveyard or burning they can as well keep it for uh, apply for the mummalming technique and keep it in their homes so definitely the legal hurdles should not be of uh, much importance here a lot of research is required in this field of mummalming what i have done is on one body and there are different types of body as you know we have female bodies even in the male bodies also we have children's we have adults so it depends so how the technique will respond to or we have a fat individuals we are lean individuals so the depends on how the technique respond definitely the research is required but but for the moment i can categorically state that the technique is very successful because even after 2 years you have seen by yourself the type of uh, changes or the type of intact body so this is all i can say at this stage